Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Larissa Gabi Show. Hope you are doing well. I'm doing very, very well. And especially because I'm having my sister in Christ, a wonderful woman of God, a coach. She's such an inspiration. And as I usually said, I can listen to her all day long. She has so much thing to share with us today. And we have to talk about her special book, and um, I hope you are doing well. I'm so excited about today. So we're going to start very soon, but we're going to start with a short prayer. And then I'm going to ask her many questions. But first of all, welcome, sister. Love you. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for today. We give you praise for this moment. To you be the honor and the adoration for this day. I thank you for life, for all the people which are going to watch now and for people who are going to watch later on. We give you the first place and let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Welcome, welcome, dear friend and sister. It's such an honor to have you today on my platform. Yes, it is also my honor and thank you for having me here. It's such a privilege. Thank you so much. Would you like to present yourself? Because I know that many people know you in Norway, but not all, all around the world. You're welcome. Yes, of course. Thank you. Uh, first of all, my name is Enjoy. Yes, you heard me right. Enjoy. Enjoying <laughs> the day, <laughs> every day. Amen. So I'm fully blooded Filipino. I'm coming from the Philippines, but living here in Norway as like God sent here to, you know, um, as a missionary like uh, you, Sister Larissa. Yeah, from and, Cameroon and Philippines. We are missionaries. Yes, Philippines. Um, I'm a wife and a mother of two adorable boys. So, yes. We have so much in common. <laughs> I have also two boys and it's so amazing to be mom of boys. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Girls are going to have a lot of trouble with us. I think so. We don't. Yeah, we need more energy with the boys. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and you live in Sanes. And uh, yes, tell us about more about what you're doing. You're a coach and you're just reading a book now. Yes, um, this is newly uh, released book, but I will tell you more about it. But before I would say, I would start to, to say that um, back in the Philippines, I, I was so blessed and opportunate and privileged for leading the youth and helping them to to grow in the Lord. Not not just making giving more tasks to do, but basically I I taught them how to have a personal encounter intimacy with the Lord because I believe, based on my experience, that that life will sometimes bring hard things, so they will you know, stand still no matter what because they know who, who is their God and they know, you know, they have the foundation and relationship personally with the Lord and was also a part of a mobilizer in a Jesus revolution now that is a movement in the Philippines that originated from what Washington DC by um, Pastor Lou Engel. Uh, he brought it in the Philippines and yeah, my, my work is going to different churches and bringing the, the the vision why we have to do this to bring the young people and the and the old to bring together it's like an assembly of consecrated heart before the lord because we need revivals right yes. so we did that and been doing that for for years before coming back to norway uh, coming here in norway and i see how god works I see how God make a miracle and make a way when there's still be no way. And I believe, I guess that's where my faith uh, founded, you know, like no matter what life knocks at me, I know I can stand and I can trust the Lord so well because of that. And coming back at going here in Norway, I know and I believe in my heart that the Lord called me here. Mm-hmm. But but for my first years of transitioning, it was not smoothly. This was I thought. <laughs> I thought that when the Lord, you know, this is a misconception also. When when you know that this is the will of God, you may be 
think that it's just a smooth going and there's no hassle, hard girl things. But exactly. exactly what I did is I asked God, Lord, I thought you have called me here, but I can't see myself here. It's so lonely place. It's so cold. I have no friends here and everything, you know. And until I got I got my 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 child and you know having child it's not easy and then depression and anxiety knocked me down and put my life on hold for years my friends years and i was not expected that i i, I was not asking the lord why but i was like what is happening in my life i don't it's just like i i know now how to live without life and it was so painful, no matter how, how you have gift, you know, gifted inside of you. But when this sickness, that's why this is a, a sickness in mental that needs to be also addressed and needs to be talked about. But most of the time, we, this is a taboo topic. We are hardly talking about this because we're ashamed. Very true, very true. Yeah. So, so but because of the foundation that God gave me, the faith, even if I don't feel it, even if I don't see it, even if I wanted to die, I still hoping the Lord will come to a rescue. Amen. And so I, I came to a risk for two years now. Uh, my therapist told me, you are ready to face the world again. I was like, okay, I'm ready. And, and that came to realize that I know I've been in different ministries in the Philippines doing this and that and this because I want to impress God. I want to, you know, I want that God will love me more because I did this and that. But when I come to a point in life in Norway that I cannot do anything because I have, a, I'm sick. And then I still continue to see the goodness of the Lord in me. So I'm so irritated, you know, when, when you are doing not good thing and then there's someone is, showing good goodness to you you feel like everything and so i asked god lord god why are you so good to me why mm -hmm. and then i'm not doing anything and then he told me because i love you and then i asked him and mm -hmm. what because i'm expecting that he would say i love you and you have to do this and that and this and then he asked me and he told me for second time i love you period enjoy i was like wow it's blown away I think that was the breakthrough. That was the breakthrough that changed my life. And then he, he told me that, I know you worship me with songs. You worship me with prayers and doing things to other people, loving people and sharing the, the gospel. But what I want you to do, the, the true worship in me, is when you allow yourself to love yourself the way I love you. Amen. You accept yourself. When when you are saying this, that remind me of the Bible verse in the first book of uh, First John, I think, I think so, uh, where it is written, God is love. He okay. is love. He's not ha half love, 50%. He is love. It's like, it's his nature. And what can we add on love? He doesn't really need that. So, so what the Bible says in the book of John 4, again, is he's looking for worshiper who shall go into worship him in spirit and in truth. That is yeah. the test of God. That is what he's longing to. We can't buy God. We can't give him money. We, what can we give him that he doesn't have? He is love. And when we cannot even love him more than he can love us or anything, we cannot do anything that will show him more love. But one thing that he's looking and searching every day is people who will give their heart true worshipers that are going to worship him in spirit and his truth. Truth, exactly. according to his word, we say that love yourself because his love, his words say love yourself and love others. So when we love ourselves, then exactly. we are worshipers who are worshiping God in spirit and in truth. And but this revelation has been healing to many people. And when you just said, I was like, wow, that's really true. Just simply a question to understand really what is about is loving God. That is true. Amen. I learned exactly. 
because I'm, I was giving and giving and giving before in the ministry, but I get born out many times. Then I, I got the answer is because my, my tongue is empty. Yeah. I, love, I love God. Uh, I, I love people, but I don't love myself. But today, I love myself like never before. I, I receive and accept my, my failures and mistakes and allow myself especially allowing yourself to feel even the negative things because we are humans, right? Exactly. Like we are not robots. Before I'm afraid to show my weaknesses to mm. sisters and brothers because I'm afraid that they would might judge me. Where's your faith in the Lord? Why you are crying? Why you wow. feel like that, right? So now I allow it because God told me that's part of how I created you. So you can feel the pain and then you will appreciate the goodness of me you know Amen. The, so, so you cannot appreciate the goodness the love of god when you are not allowing yourself to go through with the hard things the difficulties mm. and exactly. so also this this uh book comes because when i was 19 uh 20 years old i wrote my my journal and mm -hmm. uh i make a statement that one day i'm going to share my story to the world that was my statement and i didn't know that god sealed it until nickel bitman nickel bitman is the organizer of this because this is a collaboration book where we are 13 authors in 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 this and i'm i met her first two years ago during our leadership conference it's uh, through network business mm -hmm. and then we become friends and she's also a believer in christ yeah. And she's yeah. she's a teacher, and during the pandemic, she was looking to these things who are struggling, and mm -hmm. then she she said to herself, "There's something I can do for this. Mm -hmm. There's something I can help them to let them out, to let them sin sin." So it, on January this this year, he she she called up the authors who would like to co-authors with her, mm -hmm. and then here comes the, the title letters to my teenage self so while i was hearing here that about this i feel ghost bumps in my body and then it literally it brings me to to that statement i'm going to share my story again uh, mm -hmm. in the world and that's how it created and and this book it's full pack with intimate personal stories of 13 including me amazing woman who our goal and aim here, why we share this, this is really intimate stories, is wow. to bring the hope to, to the teenagers of today, who's, I know that this book is an on time because there's a lot of young people, teenagers, young adults, even parents struggling, struggling, and they, they might feel all alone with their struggles mm -hmm. and, and the pain, you know, like, hopelessness, loneliness, anxious, depression in, in mental things. And there's a lot you heard, maybe knew some, some teenagers committed. And, and the story is not all the same because it's the struggles of a teenager being bullied because they are weight, they are big. Mm. A teenager who's struggling because their parents got divorced. A teenager struggling of their self-worth and self-worth uh, uh, and self-esteem. And poster teenagers, instead of, you know, the poster parents protecting them, but they abuse them, you know? So this is as a story and relationship and everything, like uh, uh, struggles of, of a teenagers coping up after their best friend uh, committed suicide. So he, here in the stories. And, and, and this story is also book with um, a pack with advices and bringing the words of hope that they are not alone. They are, they are seen, they are heard, and there is hope. So this Amen. is all about, this is such a wonderful book that I am so, I would say I was so proud and I'm so, so privileged to be part of uh, as, as a life changer. Congratulations, yes. awesome. I just want to read it now. And um, yes, uh, where can someone get the book? Is it in on Amazon? Or? Yes, the the book is is on Amazon right now. Uh, you can I I've given a link to where to buy it, 
Um, and you can also contact with me personally, mm -hmm. or you can also go to my website. Uh, that is already provided in my bio. And yes, and this is like you can if you are in in US or South Africa or in the Philippines or in different kinds of part in Europe, you can avail this book. And this is like a good investment mm. uh, for 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 if you are a mother who are teenagers who are suffering. This is a good tool, and this is like a light from from the tunnel. <laughs> Amen. Awesome. Yeah, I know that you you really helping women also, and uh, you you just started with a group of women group, and um, yeah, and you are in my group also of women of prayer in Norway. Yes, tell us about that group because um. Yes. We, we are really involved in ministry and we really want to impact women in Norway. And uh, yeah, tell us about it. Well, sure. I, will, I would love to tell. The group was actually um, created when I am um, restoring my life. And until now, I'm in the uh, journey of uh, restoration and recovery. I decided because before when the doctor told me, enjoy you are in the state of depression and for me to hear that no no way i have god i have jesus i am a um, i am a woman of god no way i will have this exactly. so in short i i you know like wearing uh facial uh like not accepting it mm -hmm. so in short i am just denying it that mm -hmm. i have so because of that it becomes worse and and this goes many years. And when I got out from that, I, I, I said to myself, this story will not be story that not, not, nothing to, to be touched of. So I decided to create a group mm -hmm. that's called uh, Life After Depression because most people getting out from depression, they don't, it's like about you are having a new life again. Like, what I'm going to do now, now that I am out from this, now that, that I am in a recovery, is there still hope for me? Is there, I can continue to dream again and to rebuild my life again? And yes, I would say yes. Yes and yes. Of there course. is. You, know, you can dream again. You can create your life again. You can rewrite your story again. And that's where that uh, group is, a, is like a community support where I created small courses to help you if you are going through right now that will help you or if you have had already and you want to find your, your calling in God because I believe in every woman, no matter where you are, what is happening to you right now, you have a calling, you have a gift, you have a potential that God is putting you before the world, the, the foundation began. And it is your job to find it. It is your job because God has already given it. For you to find it is you have to do something. You have exactly. to do something in your life. Because there is two things. There, you have more information on how to do it. And you're getting it. And you're getting it. But if you are not implementing it, it's just nothing. Exactly. So, the Bible so, says yes. in the book of James, faith without action is death. That I know people that have been spending years just going to conferences after conferences, program after program, meeting after meetings. And for me, I feel like if you get, receive so much, you need to give. Because even if you eat too much, you get constipation. And also we can get constipation in the spirit if we just receive and sitting down, not using what God has given us. It's one thing to, to, to accept that we are being called. And it's another thing to do something with you knowledge that we receive that is where i feel many many women they don't want to come out of their comfort zone zone uh they want to just do religion like okay this is what have been done uh, women just sit in the church women go work the sunday school this is religion and our god is a god of divine heresy he's a god who have given us different gifts he he's a various god when we see how he creates flowers, he creates these, he creates many color of skin. He's not a God of religion. That is like exactly. you put in a box and you say, this is where he started with this, where he finished. So it's such a pity 
when I see women with so much potential, sometimes they're going throughout their life doing nothing with their calling because they thought, okay, my calling was just to be a woman and get married, have children and die. No, that's not what God called us. It's part of God's blessing, but it's yeah. not what the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit is in our life for. And that way, if we don't choose to come out of our comfort zone, we cannot bear fruit. You and I are here because we've been through things. Yes. I've been in ministry for 23 years, soon 23 years. It has not been always pink. I've gone through a lot of situations myself. I've been a divorced mother, a single mom, but I didn't remain there. But throughout the process and everything I went through, today, I, the result of me being a singer, an apostle, preacher, television host and all everything is because I love myself and I say, Lord, use me. So what do you and I want to do to many women and help through your group and your ministry and your book is to speak to you who is watching us right now. Don't just stay where you are. You are not the least. You are blessed. And maybe what you have is even more than what God has given us. So don't give up. Take our exactly. example, and uh, as we say in Norwegian, for just move. <laughs> Don't yeah. stay somewhere yeah. forever and thinking I'm just made to be like a tree, not moving. No, we are not trees. We exactly. have to move in action, in faith. Amen. And, uh, and so. there's also, it's so important uh, that this part of who I am right now is like, yes, we, we Christian, especially Christians, or especially those not calling Christian, but they believe in God, but basically you believe in God. You believe in God that he can do all things possible. You can, he can create miracles. He can heal the sick. But the question here is, do you really believe in yourself that you can do it? Because when you cannot really see that, because that's how I see it myself before, I don't believe. I, when someone give me an open door, I was like, no, I'm not, that's not for me. No, that's not because I don't really believe that I can do it. But when I love myself, accept myself, like embracing my whole of me, mm -hmm. I started to see the belief inside of me that I can do it, that all things actually, it can be happen if I want to. It is actually in my choice. So, so this is so important to realize, ask your question. You are, you are, look, uh, you know, watching us now, mm -hmm. do I really believe in myself? Because there's two things also. You believe in God, yes, it's okay. But do you really believe in yourself, what God believes in you? Amen. That's the key. That's really the key to explore and to shine out your life because there is a giant inside of you that needs to be awakened. Just Amen. like Larissa and I, uh, the giant needs to be awakened that we need to get out from our comfort zone because if we just live just, oh, this is who I am. This is what I want. No, you will not see the, the things that you want to see because I believe inside of you, there is a voice telling you there's something that you need to be done there's, there's something, something you want to do you want to do and there's something more because god is giving you a lot and god is giving you already and it is again i, I say that again it is your job to discover it exactly you know? amen amen to that awesome i could listen to you the whole day you source an inspiration and uh, thank you dear friend that you wanted to come to support my ministry also because if I'm doing this and no one wants to come on my show, that's that's not, I'm not going to bear fruit. But this is so awesome. And uh, I would like to invite you uh, probably for more videos in the future for uh, ministry and uh, ministering to women and uh, prayer and everything. So let's speak again about the books. If you could show us the book again. The book, yeah, uh, if you if you if you buy the book, uh, you can you can, you go can put to... it a little bit up. Yeah, so oh, that, yeah. yeah, this is letters to my teenage self. Right no, it's now, it's, it's in uh, English. If you can take it a bit to the screen, because I think with the it's not showing. Yeah. Anyway, yes. I'm going to share. I'm going to share the the picture yeah. while you are talking. Yeah. I'm going to. Do and uh, right now, it's in English language, but we are hoping in the future that we yeah. can trans translate it to different languages because. 
our our hope and our goal in this that we will reaching out not only in Europe yeah. but in the whole world because there's a lot a lot of young people who are struggling right now a lot of young people who needs to be heard a lot of parents who feel yeah. like I'm not good enough but this book will help you to understand your kids why they are saying this and why they are going through with this because they need to be validated of their feelings they need to be accepted who they are we need to be and if you are parents telling telling yourself you are not good enough mm. i will tell you you are you've done best enough you 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 are the hero because you know there's no such things as perfect parent <laughs> Tell, tell that to yourself and you're doing great my my co-parent my 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 fellow parents you are doing great to your to your to your kids and awesome. I know that it's not easy and it's not overwhelming but the the thing the verse I will quote the verse and I will tell the, this verse is really so powerful this is Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6 mm -hmm. this is like we heard it many times but when you like Pay attention to every word. It is so powerful. It will give you the tenacity to stand still no matter what life brings at you. It is stands for uh, rely, mm -hmm. uh, have confidence, trust in the Lord it's with all fast. of your heart. Mm -hmm. And do not lean on to your own understanding because sometimes we might be deceived with our own human understanding. But with all your heart, my friends, your, your mind and soul, Trust in the Lord and acknowledge him, whether it is like a big victory or a small victory or a struggles or difficulties in life. Acknowledge him that he is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you because that's his promise. That is promise no matter what. And, and you know, God will make you your, your path smooth. He will pour out his blessings and his, his grace to get you go through it. And there is hope once again and if you don't see it just be still and trust the process and you will see and enjoy the journey of recovery amen amen amen, amen. <laughs> awesome thank you so much so i'm going to share the link where people can visit your website and also um where to buy the book and your page anything about you i'm going to share about it please check it out and order a book for someone maybe even, even if you don't have a teen so try to buy it as a gift maybe it's a birthday exactly. present and um thank you so much for coming on my show and i'm i'm so thank happy you. for thank all the ladies who have been in this book who have written with you guys may the lord bless you guys bless your work you. and bless these women and um, thank you you are welcome again uh, see you next time Bye. Well, thank you so much. Bye. Thank Bye. you so much, sister. Bye. Bye.